TQL electric atmosphere tonight. The Bailey was bumping. And WCPO9 sports reporter Andrew Rowan, you were in the Bailey with fans for most of the night. Your first Bailey experience. Andrew, good night to have it. What was it like? Marshall, I don't know how else to describe it other than a full blown party. And some of the fans we talked to after the game said even if they weren't sitting in the Bailey, that energy was contagious through the entire place. Now, before the game, though, someone who sits midfield told me how he didn't know how everyone in the Bailey could keep that energy up the whole game, and that was on full display tonight. So as the team put one into the net and then another one all in the first half, it was like pouring gasoline on an already flaming hot fan section. And you know, another big thing I heard tonight is that the team style of play this year is just more fun to watch, and that itself has a ripple effect through the stadium. The Bailey was on chart, off the charts. They were just rocking it. And, and when, they, when they do what they do, it just feeds into everybody else. This was exactly what we were hoping for. Shut them out, make a statement, Get the playoffs started right. It feels great because last time we lost against Philadelphia and it was like horrible. And the worst part is that it was like at the last minute. Ten-year-old Dorian there said this time around it was a lot more fun. But there was some nervous energy coming into tonight's game. Some fans said they know FC Cincinnati can be challenged by the New York Red Bulls. But tonight's win shows them that this team has what it takes. And you could definitely tell from a lot of the fans that this was a pinch me moment for them. They said it's already been fun watching the team go from worst to first. And they know FC Cincinnati has what it takes to finish the job. But for now, live in TQL Studio Stadium, Andrew Owen, WCPO 9 News.